Hey, good evening, Jess. Well, they are scratching their head, trying to figure out what those scratches actually are from. Now, we've all done it, got into a car and noticed something mysterious. Well, that was exactly the case for this woman. She said she noticed something on the roof of her vehicle, and she believes someone intentionally did it with something as abrasive as a Brillo pad. I'm, I'm like everyone else. You know, you, you work to pay for something, and you take pride in what you have. And at the Callaway home, Ron and Retha can't be more proud of the life they've created together, which includes their Nissan Maxima. But last week, the roof caught Retha's eye. She thought these marks were the result of an unwanted feline. Scratching, you know, one that has not been declawed or something. That's my first impression. But further inspection and more damage photos show this was no neighborhood cat. The marks so severe, the body paint dulled. Even the headlights were damaged with some type of abrasive material. Police believe it may have been low-grade sandpaper or an item like a Brillo pad. It, it is what it is, and, and uh, I mean, I, we uh, we're we're church people. And I, I look at something like this and I call it, you know, just an attack from hell. The Callaways have since filed a police report and synced up with their insurance company. Repairs will be made, but they want others in the village to be aware. It's sad when you think somebody that has that much hatred or destruction in their heart to do something like that. I mean, I don't know of any reason why anyone would do that on purpose to us. I can't think of anything. Now, you saw the damage of those photographs right there. That is expected to cost the couple about $5,000. Luckily, they do have insurance. But if you have any information on this case or you've experienced anything similar, you're urged to call the Village Police. We're live. Dave Detling, KOCO 5 News.